because they're plastic, they, um, they're waterproof. So when I'm playing water games, they're not gonna get destroyed because bicycle, bicycle plastic coated playing cards are not plastic cards, they're plastic coated cards. Neoprene ball, it's got like a sand in it, like a, like a hacky sack, but this tail kind of floats. So the ball sinks to the bottom, the ball sinks to the bottom and the tail is kind of floating in the water because it, whatever. These are dive toys and this, this dive toy combined with these cards, my most popular uh, pool party game. Now I have uh, 15 of these little dive toys so don't think I'm just using one. I'm using quite a bit actually. And then this this is a, a neat little idea. We'll have to talk about pool party games some other time. <clears throat> okay. On to this one. This little padded case. This is not an official bag. Actually, uh, this is an Xbox carrying bag. It's got a little bit of padding here. It's all right, but it's the only thing I've found so far to house my, uh... hang on a second. My American DJ 800 watt strobe light. Mega flash. Um, I have two of them, and this case is the only thing I've I found that will actually hold them because uh, none of my other cases will. They're too darn big. Like there, it almost makes it, but uh, for some reason or another, I just wasn't able to use it. I think it was the yoke. Uh, causing problems. Um, anyway, so for a long time they didn't have a home and then I, I got that bag and I was like yay! I was so excited. Alright, I don't really need to show you this because just the speaker, speaker stand with a on stage bag. But this bag is much bigger than that. Um, I don't use my speaker stands too often because my subs hold up my speaker stands. These are the poles for my subs. Um, I use lighting, uh, lighting bars. These are actually, um, for a 10 foot flat truss and they extend up to, for a total height of 10 feet. But, um, they're too big to fit in the normal bag. When I bought this bag, it was $20 at uh, Guitar Center. And um, they hadn't actually put this bag into the system yet. This, this physical bag was not in the system, so when I went to buy it, I paid the same for that one. I paid $20 for this bag. Then I was like, man, that's a deal. I need another one. I went back and they had put it in the system at 60 bucks. Oh, darn it. Fragile. You guys already know what this is. It's my favorite purchase. Uh, Aside from my lights, my facade. I wish I had a case for that. Bo, can you help me out? <laughs> All right, folks, that is cases in a nutshell, or a whole bag of nuts. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of in depth, wasn't it? I'm sorry it took so long. But uh, there's one last area that we need to talk about, and that's wheels. Wheels are just as important as any case you might have because you got to get this gear in. I mean, think about it. How much does all that gear weigh? I know that that stack right there is a tremendous amount of weight. Thank goodness I have wheels for that. These little cases here, they add up to a lot of weight. So, thank goodness I got wheels for that. I mean, even though that that has wheels on it, I never use them. I mean, these wheels are in remarkable shape because I never use them. 
just not efficient. But these here, really nice wheels. Um, there's a brand called Faultless, and uh, they have a nice rubber pad to them, so they they uh, they handle seams in the concrete really well, unless they're big seams, and then they they kind of get stuck on there, but. That set of wheels right there is a uh, furniture dolly. This is definitely 20 years old, this, uh, this furniture dolly. Uh, I have no idea what, what these wheels are, but um, this, this particular furniture dolly has, uh, has been to hell and back so many times we stopped counting. <laughs> is a really reliable piece of uh, equipment right there. And then of course, there's my dolly. The best $80 I ever spent. Um, I've never had to replace those wheels there. This is still the original rubber. And they've held some hellacious weight. I don't always use it for DJing. Now let me rephrase that. I don't only use it just for DJing. I also use it for personal stuff too, you know? Um, these wheels I did replace because the wheels that came with it were just crap. I busted those wheels in like a week. So I bought these wheels. These are shopping cart wheels. I bought them from Northern Tool and Equipment. I think I paid seven or $15 a piece. I can't really remember, but uh, they work really, really well. And something kind of odd, they do not like cold weather. In the cold weather, they're real stiff to roll, which I find kind of interesting. I didn't really expect that to be a pro or con or, or even in my consciousness. But if, uh, if I'm out early in the morning doing a setup or something, they don't roll very well. <laughs> I mean, they roll fine, but it's just stiff. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Ah, uh, well folks, I've been a case freak all my life, and uh, I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, as I was, <clears throat> my wife asked me, do you have a dream case? And I said, uh, no, no I don't. I mean, you know, she knows all the cases that I have, and she's been supporting my case habit for, for a couple of years now, and... Um, She's like, uh, do you have a favorite? And I was, well, no, not really, because the number one box and the number two box were uh, very important to me, and they are such a fantastic reutilization of case. You know, it was designed for something else, and I put what I put in there. Um, the record, the record case holder, is uh, is definitely a black and white opposite. You know, um, my my Gator case saved me about a hundred pounds um, and it's been very very durable you know it's only in the recent years uh, gotten some some scuffs on it you know it doesn't look quite as fresh as it used to but it, it does it does really really well um, my Harbor Freight cases I'm gonna buy a bunch more of those in the next year you know just because they work really well um, now Okay, so my wife asked me, do you have a dream case? I said, no, but I really do miss my Pelican case. I had a Pelican 1600. Um, it was a beautiful $300 case, uh, but I was thinking about it, and one of the drawbacks to it is that uh, because it was so big and so deep, I could fit a lot of stuff in it. So it became really, really heavy. And, you know, that, sometimes that was a problem. Uh, I would rather have a bunch of small, lightweight boxes than one really big box, you know? And so, with that being said, I'm gonna get lots more of those cases right there. Those are, those are really nice cases. I hope to replace that one sometime soon, but um, right this second, I can't replace it because it's got just, just a little bit more clearance than, than those cases there. So. I can't just transfer the contents. <clears throat> that
That's it for me, folks. This is DJ Rock and Rob saying thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, the attention span. I know that this wasn't a short video because it took forever to shoot it. I'm, I have no idea how far down I can edit it. Maybe I'll omit some cases. Maybe I'll keep some surprises for later. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. Love you guys. I'm out.